All right, here we are, we're outside, the time 7.44 a.m. And you can just see how overcast it is out here. So, really, that gives you a really good idea on just how well those uh, Jinko solar panels are doing in this kind of weather. We're totally, totally am amazed at their output, especially at this time of the morning, because remember, they're just above me on this roof, and that over there is sunset. And that on the opposite side of the house is sunrise. And there's not much of it. It's all cloud over that way as well. So, yeah. We're pretty happy, people. We are pretty happy. Okay, so I've just made a video inside for you, so I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, everyone. How are you going? I'm not long out of bed, but... Uh, I'll do the intro outside the minute, but I thought I'd give you a quick catch up on the new solar panels and how they're going. Now it's very overcast over outside this morning, and you can see down the bottom corner here near my uh, camera, it's 7.32 a.m. in the morning on the 20th. Okay, so what have we got here? All right, so this is the uh, 5 kilowatt unit, that one there, JCS 5 kilowatt. And it is currently putting out, now remember, these panels are facing sunset on an angle, a slight angle, but they're still facing sunset. And they're putting out 555 watts. And this system here has a 6.5 kilowatt hour battery, Let's just go down to the perimeter and set the state of charge. So it naturally charges its battery first before it'll start moving on to the others, but its little battery is at 92%. Okay, so let's uh, switch plants and go over here to this one. Now this uh, one here has 7.5 kilowatts of uh, older panels on it. Um, remember the... Um, One's on the 5 kilowatt unit we installed the other day. We had the electrician and everything here. Uh, that's 5,280 watts. So we've got nearly just under 13 kilowatts of solar on our roof now. Um, and you can see this unit and its panels are facing north. They're not facing sunrise, but they are facing north. Is putting out 787 watts. So let's go and see what this one was doing. This is doing 559 watts, people. These panels, these new panels are really good. Really good at producing power. Okay. All right, so let's go back here. And you can see here the uh, battery state of charge. These are the batteries that run the house. The battery state of charge is 75%. Okay, and I don't know if you can hear it or not, but we currently got an air conditioner on that we're using as a um, heater. It's a reverse cycle air conditioner because it is cold this morning. Um, what's the temperature say over there? In the house, it's 21 degrees. Outside, it got down to this morning when I hopped out of bed, it was 5 degrees C. It's warmed up maybe 1 or 2 degrees. It is cold outside, very cold. Well, for us, that's cold, okay? All right. Um, so let's have a quick look down here, okay? So you can see we put... You can, <laughs> yeah, this is good, isn't it? Like, you can see when we put the new 5 kilowatts of solar on, and we'll, we'll go and have a back look at this in a minute. Okay, so the 7.5 kilowatts are more than capable of running my house and keeping it charged. Okay, more than capable, and they've been doing it happily. Uh, we did have to use a generator. We put about seven and a half litres of fuel through it this year after we took the three kilowatts of the really old panels on. So catch up. What we did was we took three kilowatts or 12 250-watt panels off our roof, and they were original panels and replace them in almost the same footprint. I mean, it's, yeah, it's almost exactly the same footprint with 5,280 watts of uh, brand new panels. That's 12 
440 watt panels. Jinkos, very good, very good. They're split, split cell, split panel. Uh, okay, so this this is on the. So we made the change on the 13th. So let's come up here. And let's go quickly back to the 13th. Okay, there we are on the 13th. And that's, well, let's go back one more day. So there we are on the 12th. And you can see it, it's, it's getting good. It's, we look full. And we'll quickly switch to the other plant to make sure we actually have this right. Okay, well let's let's go back one more day. Yeah, well, oh, what do we go to there? Nineteenth. Go back to the thirteenth, Chris. Twelve. Okay, so that was it. So we made the change on the thirteenth, but here's the day before at the twelfth. And you can see there's absolutely no solar on this. It's just self-consuming, absolutely bugger all. It's self-consuming 0.01 of a kilowatt consumption. Is that right? Yes, and there's product power production is 0 kilowatts. Okay, so once they were installed and they weren't installed and turned on until nearly lunchtime, and you can see this battery was at 85% and this battery uh, got to 100% just before lunch. Just before lunch it got to 100 pounds, about 11 o'clock. Okay, so let's go to the 5 kilowatt unit. To the 8 kilowatt unit I should say, that is the 5 kilowatt unit. Let's go to the 8 kilowatt unit. Okay, so the 8 kilowatt unit, and we've got to go right back to the 12 again. Uh, 12. Okay. And you can see it's, it's happy. I mean, it, it charged up before lunchtime. It charged up at... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, 11.40 and then just run loads and that, that is actually the same reverse cycle air conditioner we have on at the moment that's there heating the house putting a bit of heat in for the morning so let's go to the 13th and you can see something weird happening here like we, we're going we're using lots of power and we got, we got 99 and then 100 but we didn't get to 100 uh, it dropped off, so we got to a hundred down, down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, just there, just there. We got to a ninety-nine, a hundred. But if we, we'll just quickly go through, and you'll see a pattern forming here. What? And then nothing. Okay, you'll see this pattern. I'll explain to you what's going on in a minute. You can see it's been quite cold. We've still got the air conditioner on in the evenings. Okay. We'll just scroll through to the 20th. There we are. That's today. All right. So now we'll go back to the 5 kilowatt plant. There we go. And we go back to the... Uh, 12. All right, and then you'll see something interesting happen here. Look at that. It's sewn to the other unit. It's okay, buddy. Give those old panels a rest. We'll provide the power. And they're actually charging all the batteries to run the house right now. So the, the, they both work in the morning, and when they get full, this one's taking over and doing all the work, which is pretty good. It's pretty good because it's sharing the work out. 
today. All right? And that that's awesome. So uh, we'll just quickly look again. So this one's up to 652 watts in the few minutes that we've been recording. And the 8 kilowatt plant. is putting out 880 watts. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, people, those new panels are absolutely rocking it, okay? They are absolutely rocking it. All right, well, I'm going to wait till it's warmer and I'll go out and do an intro to this video. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed it. It's just a very simple, quick look at the huge difference in efficiency I've got in my system simply by replacing 12 solar panels. Okay, simply by replacing 3 kilowatts of old 250 watt solar panels with um, 5,280 watts of brand new uh, 440 watt Jinkos uh, split cell split panel. Absolutely beautiful panel so far. They're performing fantastic. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm over the moon with them. Let's go back and have another quick look. There they are there on the 5 kilowatt unit. Look at that. Look at that. 5,280 watts facing sunset. Seven and a half kilowatts facing north. And remember we are in the south of Western Australia. All right, that's it. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to be starting work on the trailer very shortly. That'll be a, a, a short series of videos till it's rebuilt. Well, it might be a long series. Depends how long it takes me to rebuild. But we're going to get it done. It's going to be really, really good. I, I tell you, it's going to be really good. We're, gonna, we're doing all the wiring um, from scratch uh, due to... Um, well... Some of the wires looked a bit chewed and we did have a bit of a mouse plague on, on our last trip. So maybe it wasn't chafe and maybe it was just um, mices. Yep, native hopping mouse people we got invaded by. Anyway, keep safe. Bye for now.